Hey, what up, guys? Dr. Man33 here bringing you episode 18 of the Jack 2 Let's Play. So let's, uh, let's get going. Uh, last episode, we, uh, oops, sorry. We, uh, I was kind of stuck and trying to figure out what I was doing, so I just, uh, I went ahead. Um, we got into this one area where, uh, we, I was trying to get to, get to some eggs, so I picked up the eggs. So I got a trophy called the Collector, which I think is to uh, pick up a certain amount of precursor pre 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 orbs. So, and then this place I just found after that near the beginning. So this part, this part must have just opened up. I guess I have to jump down here. Oh, Jesus. And, of course. Brings me all the way back here. God damn, these checkpoints are so messed up. <laughs> That's a... Uh That's one kind of camp complaint I can tax on is these fucking these fucking checkpoints. I don't know what they did from like the first game. I, know, I said this like a million times already, especially in the past couple episodes. But honestly, so yeah, you'll see where I have to go now. Cause honestly, I died. I have to go there again. Realize those enemies sound like uh, turkeys. God, I hate those guys. So, I guess in a Thanksgiving mood, got some kind of turkey goes. Who knows? By the time this comes out, probably way past Thanksgiving, but. I am recording this on Thanksgiving Day. Well, American Thanksgiving. I don't. I do not partake in American Thanksgiving because. Oh my god. These fucking. And back here yet again. I, I, don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Oops. Oh, I, forgot to, I forgot to start a timer on my phone. Oh well. Alright, so. Uh, okay. That's, this is okay. 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 I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, so I uh, can just continue talking more about Destiny and uh, the greatness of Destiny, I like to say. Because honestly, I've been having so much fun with that game. See, so yeah, I like the story. Yeah, a lot of people hate it because of the repetition of like the story missions and whatnot. Like, It doesn't bother me too much because there's no reason to do story missions unless you're doing uh, these daily. You're doing these uh, daily quests basically, but you get some pretty good rewards for doing those, so there's like, no reason not to do those every day. So, uh, like, uh, for me, for one reason why I really like the game is I love, like, RNG. Like, I don't like love RNG, but I mean, like, I love like R&D drops. Like I love the style of like Borderlands, where like you go to find a chest and like RNG loot. Like who knows what you're gonna get, right? Like who knows if like you're gonna get like a shitty weapon or you're gonna get some awesome, amazing weapon, you know, like some weapon that's better than yours or something. So 
So, that's kind of like what I, that's kind of like why I really like Destiny because I always love those kind of RNG type loot type, uh, those RNG loot kind of games. Like, I love getting like random drops, like, I love getting a chance that get a better weapon or whatever. So, that's one reason why I need a weapon. I think you have to like that kind of game in order to like Destiny. Because otherwise, you're gonna have like a bad time. I think that's why a lot of people don't like it, because some people like hate RNG. Like, some people don't like those games at all, where, you know, like, there's a chance that someone will get like a really amazing weapon after only playing like you know for a day and someone might be trying to farm the same weapon but get it like a month later you know so it's like I'm trying to look down here what's down here I think it's just to nothingness nothingness yeah so That's what they're looking for. <laughs> okay, one bit up. So, uh, yeah, so, for, like, the best thing is, like, I love, like, the random loot system. So, like, how it goes is, uh, so you got your loot, you got, like, your unco uncommons, which is, like, white. You got your, like, like, I mean, you got your commons, which are white, uncommons, which is green. You got rare, which is blue. Then you got your legendaries, which are purple, and then you got like your exotics, which are like the best of the best, which is a uh, yellow. So kind of like the same kind of loot system follows for any of those type of games, like you know, bloodlines, like white weapons are like obviously like the shitty weapons. Green is a little better, blue is a little like better than that, and then purples are really good, and then kind of like that. So it's like the whole. Same kind of shares the same system as the other games. I like it. It's pretty. It's pretty universal for most games like that, and I think it works out pretty well. So yeah. So usually when you're low level, because the level cap in the game is uh, 20, and then like there's like a maximum level cap. Which I know it doesn't really make sense, but there's like these things called light levels, which increase your level cap even more than 30, which is like the final one. So 30 is the final level cap, like that's the official level cap. And uh, you get, so what happens is, uh, so when you're leveling up, you'll get like whites and greens and then blues and blues you'll get up to 20. Then once you get up to the max level 20, you can start earning uh, legendary armor and uh, legendary gear to like like the good really good stuff. But you won't get any of that until you hit level 20, and it doesn't really take that long to go level 20. If you go through the whole story mission and do these things called bounties, which are like they're also they're like these daily tasks. Like if you do like uh, like if you play Guild Wars. Uh, the best example for me is where you got like uh, daily bounties, like daily quests you can do, like you do like kill like ten different types of enemies, and you have to do like five different of those tasks, and then you learn like the daily bonus. Um, I know probably a lot of people haven't played Colors Two, that's why I'm kind of explaining it. So like another one is to gather like ten different types of resources that day. So like I don't know, like wood, mine, whatever, like mine some copper or whatever. Do that ten times, and then like. You do about five of those different tasks, and then you get the daily bonus, so... There's two types of daily stuff you can do in Destiny. There's, like, a daily story mission, which you'll get, uh... These, uh... Ascendant materials, they're called, to increase your legendary armor and weapons to, like... To, like, max them out, because each weapon has, like... When you get it, it all has, like, base stats, and then, uh, you level them up. You get experience, and that'll level up the weapon. And then, when you level up the weapon, you have to use, like, materials and, uh, glimmer, which is, like, the game's currency, to level up the guns and stuff, and so... 
you take that like uh and you get ascendant ascendant materials that's what they're called and then the ascendant materials are used to like le like level up le legendary weapons so um that's usually for like the last upgrades for the weapon so when you do like dailies you get a couple of those so it's really good if you like if you do dailies every day then uh it can really help out stuff so you can start uh, getting your stuff so once you hit level 20 you can uh uh, gears is everything kind of normal up to get to level 20 once you hit level 20 that's when the game changes like the game drastically changes i think in my opinion from uh okay cut scene first <laughs> that's some paper huh something's cooking mm, kind of smells like burnt dazzle <laughs> Alright, so I think I just got the relic. Ooh, trophy! Just the artifacts, man. Alright, so I think that's that for this area. Thank god, though. Thank god. <laughs> so yeah, so once, once you hit level 20, that's when the game changes, because then... Cause up to then you just got kind of your shitty green stuff and then your blue stuff and then once you once you hit level 20 then that's when things unlock like uh, there's these playlists unlock for doing strikes so that's when you can team up with like randoms you'll do random strikes you'll get like better so what happens when you okay 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 i should really try to So I think I can just go back now, because I think I got everything in this area, so... So when you hit level 20, there's the, these light levels, so... You'll get light levels through purple stuff and blue stuff, so... Your current blue armor, if you have blue armor, let's say, up to then... Then, uh, You won't get it, and you have to, uh... You have to get new blue armor. So you do these like strike, uh, these strike playlists, and uh, they'll get you blue armor. They'll give you striking light levels. So um, some blue armor will give you like I think the max is 13 light level for uh, gear and stuff. So that's when you'll want to uh, start. Uh, so you'll start getting that gear, and they'll start raising your like your light level. So you'll start being like light level level 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, and so you just keep getting that blue ammo, blue armor and stuff like that, and the light levels, you keep trying to get better armor that gives you better light levels, and you can upgrade that to get even more light levels, so, kind of cool, I think, can't even see the time, 13 minutes, uh, actually I'm going to cut it early since we just kind of finished this mission, I don't want to start a cutscene, so, Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little more a little more Destiny next episode. Uh, I really, like, I've been playing this game for the past two months, like, straight. So much fun. I'm deeply in love with Destiny, so. Yeah, look at me swap Destiny talk. I hope you don't mind. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're trying to get through Jack 2. And, uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.